Have you ever been so hungry that you wanted to throw something out the window? Well, look no further, because we have Cory Wharton's Spaghetti. It's so good, it'll make you want to body slam somebody. Hello, and welcome back to the video series dedicated to the endless pasta bowls in Herm's Anus, South Africa. That's right, I'm talking about The Challenge Season 3, dude, The Final Reckoning, Episode 16. This is the episode we've all been waiting for to get the context to that takedown that we saw in the mid-season teaser in Episode 10. But before we go down that situation and break it all down, let's start where that last episode left off, and that's where Polly and Natalie and Kara and Marie all won their places back in the main house, sending Brad and Kyle and Kaylee and Cam back to the Redemption House where Cam was having a good chuckle, thinking about how Natalie beat Kyle and Brad. And uh, Kyle was not amused, but it's kind of amusing when you think about it. Anyways, everybody goes back to the main house, getting all prepped and all set, looking all good and spiffy to go out to dinner, where Corey is excited about pasta and spaghetti, specifically in his confessional, he mentioned that. And Hunter gets to the restaurant and he's excited about the size of these shrimp. Uh, they're not even shrimp. They're just like normal sized crustaceans. Anyways, this all now the situation all stems on the way back to the main house where Tony throws Corey's spaghetti out the window. Tony said somebody sat on it and Corey waved it in the air and he threw it out the window. Where Corey said Tony completely out of the blue threw his pasta out this window. Regardless of how it started, it all stems from Tony throwing said pasta out this alleged bus window. Anyways, Corey gets off the bus fuming. Devin comes over, tries to calm it down at the beginning, but he's like putting water on this grease fire because Tony comes over, puts his arm around him. It seems as alcohol has a big part in this. And uh, Corey decides not to think, puts his foot behind Tony's and then whips him down. His head is like inches from this pavement, and if he like has his head bounce off this pavement, Tony's head could have been split wide open, he could have had a concussion, it could have been so much worse than what happened. Realistically, he just like laid on the ground a little bit, pick, picked himself up, had a mock interview with Johnny a little bit, where Corey and Devin were talking to producers, doubling down, saying that Tony slipped that uh, Corey was trying to get like wiggle away from Tony and he kind of slipped on his own. Ugh. I was live tweeting throughout this uh, episode, which was really fun to do, seeing what everybody had to say in real time, and uh, everybody was getting on Devin's case for saying that he slipped, because he did not slip. Let's just all be honest here. And uh, Corey and Tony get taken off the premise, which is never a great sign. Uh, leaving Bananas in the house, basically by himself without Tony, defending his partner, talking about the situation, when Nelson comes in and is like, yo, I hear you, I'm gonna grab Dev Devin, we're gonna be talking about this. Where it's just funny to think about because throughout this whole episode in Nelson's confessions, he was talking about how Johnny likes to amp everything up and like raise everything to the nth degree when Nelson decided to do that in this episode. Like he raised the decibel level, which raised Johnny to speak louder, Devin's now involved, everybody's in this room, Joss is walking around doing 800 laps around this house like he normally does to keep that 800 eight pack that he has on himself. And finally, they get into each other's face, producers split him up, Johnny's walking outside in his underwear in the cold uh, weather of Herm's anus, it's drizzling out, he's trying to just get away from everybody and Devin's just like walking behind him saying things, saying things, poking the bear, poking the bear. Finally, Johnny on his breaking point turns around and is like, you should be ashamed of yourself that you're here. You decided to come here when your dad just died. You should be back home mourning, being with your family and all this other stuff, which Devin did not like that whatsoever. And he's like, I want to punch you. And Johnny's like, do it. But nothing really happens. They all split up apart for the rest of the night. Fast forward to the next morning when Tony and Corey come back, they share a hug. Everybody's hugging each other. They're saying, oh, that's my bad, my bad, my bad. But TJ makes an unexpected house call, which, na na na, he says that uh, the challenge tolerates, does not tolerate whatsoever physical violence, and Corey and Devin have to leave. And uh, Corey's pretty upset with himself. Devin's upset. In his confessional, he's like, yo, he slips still. And finally, producers was like, you want to see the clip? 
he looks at the clip and I give him props because he actually looked at it and was like, nah, he did it on purpose. It was not a slip. He didn't slip. He put his foot behind him, which he could have tried to double down. He could have been like, uh, try to weasel it and be like, oh, he was trying to slip through and put the foot behind him. And it kind of just, no, he said, you know, he, he, he did it on purpose. So I give him mad props for that. Um, but I'm not going to say I hate to see him leave because of the whole situation. That's the rules. Your partner put his hands on somebody, threw him down. And uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So now, everybody has to get suited up for the trivia challenge, the infamous trivia challenge that happens every year on this challenge that given us such gems as what language do they speak in Australia? Where Giant Banana said Dutch. And uh, Nelson couldn't remember what the capital of Texas was even though he lives in Texas. So, going through this, Twitter says that uh, there was too easy of questions. Uh, Ashley and Hunter had like 15,000 chances to spell Armageddon. But throughout this whole thing, after the smoke clears and people fall in the water, get hit by these long arms, Polly and Natalie won. They win their first challenge back from the Redemption House. That's pretty crazy going from the Redemption House from like a month and a half to winning your first challenge, getting the power boat. And that's where this episode ends this week. So I have some questions for you. Last year, we got Pizzagate. Now we have Pastagate. What did you think about this whole situation? Can you believe it was over pasta? Like, I saw this in the comments section. I saw this on Instagram and Twitter, like, little rumors, little hints, little spoilers, that I was just like, this can't be over food. This cannot be over a bowl of pasta. And come to find out, it was. I mean, Corey did feel disrespected, but, I mean, it stems all from this pasta thing, man. I can't believe it. That must have been some good pasta because it costed, it possibly could cost you a uh, million dollars at Corey, but do you think Corey was being super selfish against his own partner? Do you think I do you think like Corey's thinking like yo? I'm a, I've been on six different MTV shows. I'm getting a steady paycheck from Teen Mom OG I don't care what I do. I'm still gonna get paid from this show That he kind of just screwed over his partner. What do you think? Are you sad to see Corey and Devin leave? Leave it in the comment section below I want to hear your every every comment or statement or anything you have to say about this pasta gate also, do you think um, Johnny was kind of doing a low blow, bringing up Devin's dad? This was a huge thing on Twitter. People were either saying, yo, he was, Devin was following him around. He was trying to get away. Devin was following him around, saying all these different things and getting in, trying to get in Johnny's head. Now Johnny turned around and just said something mean to him and he couldn't handle it. Or do you think it was kind of a low blow bringing up uh, his dad? Johnny did, in the confession, apologize for it um, after probably months of being able to think about it and relook over the scene and whatnot. He was he did apologize saying that he didn't mean any disrespect to Devin or his family for bringing up um, his dad like that. But do you think it was all fair in love and war in the challenge or do you think uh, he kind of went a little too far? He crossed the line. Um, what do you think about Paulie and Natalie winning their first challenge back? Are you excited? Are you team big brother? Are you team Pauly? Um, or and also did do you think that uh, Hunter and Ashley should have gotten like 80 billion chances to spell Armageddon? Or do you think they should have got like three? Also, what do you think about the zero tolerance rule for physical uh, thing? Yet, uh, Sylvia got to stay in after headbutting uh, Marie in all this situation. What do you think? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm only bringing that up because of the Twitter thing. It, nothing happened, so it doesn't really matter. But what do you think? Leave it in the comment section below. I want to hear everything in all and everything about this episode, about this situation. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say and talk to you guys about it. And uh, that's it, that's all That's all I got for this week. Leave everything in there, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and hit the like, and uh, catch me here next week talking about the next episode. But uh, that's it for me, peace.